Welcome to All Things Media. My name is Danny and I'll be your host today. Today we're going to be discussing how to import rendered videos into your projects from your media browser. For these tutorials, I want to use the main intro all the time. I don't want to have to recreate them every time I need them, and I don't want to have to import them from a different session either. So there's a neat little trick for you to preview them inside your media browser, and it's not going to take up any extra space on your hard drive either. All right, so let's get started. So as you can see here, we have Final Cut Pro open. And if we go to our media browser here, if I'm searching for, let's say, uh, sound effects, music, uh, sessions from GarageBand or Logic Pro or Photos, it's all going to be accessed from inside of here. Let me give you an example here of some intros I've created that I use every now and then. So if we go to our intros section here folder, I've created an intros folder. I've got three different intros that I'll go ahead and use. So here's our Final Cut Pro X tutorial intro. Here is just a little standard one that I was, a little idea that I was playing around with. And we actually used that for our last tutorial uh, working on Pro Tools. And then here's uh, my Wonder Tone intro. I use this a lot for music videos. All right, so every now and then I'd like to use different types of intros. I wanna be able to access it from inside of here. I can actually import media into my iTunes library here and then access them from Final Cut Pro. The nice thing about this is I can go ahead and grab this whole entire folder and while holding the intro folders and Alt Option and dragging it over to iTunes, it's going to create sort of an alias, I can just access it from Final Cut Pro. So if I go to Final Cut Pro here, go to my iTunes in the media browser, go to Home Videos, and I will have them available right here. Right here. Now you can see here's a list of all the different types of videos that I've installed into my iTunes folder that I want to access from inside of Final Cut Pro. So these are little special effects here. We're going to go ahead and create a new library and we're going to call it Final Cut Tutorial. So we have our events folder here. Let's just go ahead and name this Clips. Okay, so we have our clips. Let's go ahead and create a project as well. So we'll do test inside of that clips folder there. And if I want to access an intro, depending on what I'm working on, let's just say I'm working on this over here. Actually, let's use our final cut. I can go ahead also and just type in the search box here. I called it F. CPX tutorial and it's right here. I can go ahead and just grab it and boom it is imported into my events library. Now I have it accessible here and now it's in my projects folder. And it's that simple. So now if I want to keep things separate everything is imported here into my home videos. And you can see the tutorial wonder tone there but I want them in just my movie section and I want to keep them separated. So all I have to do is go into my intros, highlight them all, hit get info. We'll go ahead and edit all the items here. And this is nice because I can actually put the types of genre here. So I'm going to say this is, uh, we're going to call these intros. All right. And then we're going to go ahead into the options and I want to change this to be in just my movie section. All right. So now once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and recognize them here. Now they're completely separated from my special effects. And the nice thing about it is that it updates in real time. So if I go back to my iTunes folder here, go into my movie section, I didn't have to restart Final Cut Pro, it just automatically did it for me. 
And here we have them available. And that's pretty sweet. That's my tutorial for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and we'll talk to you soon.